I have here a Typhoon H hexacopter that someone gave me that they found it crashed and I was going to try to repair it but turns out that this camera here costs about $500 as well as the remote cost about $500 to get and with my Mavic that I have it's just not worth it. This is not comparable to the Mavic and is quite a bit uh, less quality. Uh, here is the camera. You can see there's a little bit of damage to it. Looks like it crashed and uh, the camera came off first. Here's the plate and as you can see the board that usually is in here is gone. As well as three of the props have been broke. There's three good ones yet. Um, two of the bottom motor covers are missing. And one of the arms is broken. Find out which one it is here. It's right here. This one's broken, but if you get it up and lock it in place, it seems like it is still fine and sturdy there. But anyway, I'm going to take this apart piece by piece, part this out on eBay. So, start by taking the top cover off. This is the Intel vision sensors that were on the bottom. And this disconnects inside. This is where the gimbal will actually connect to. Have to tear that apart inside there to get to that. Just a little LED diode there. Let's flip it over and see if the top cover will come off. Here's the power button. Disconnect that. Here is the GPS up here in the top. There's a little bit of shielding on top of that. And as you can see, this has been in the garage for a little bit. There's some spider webs. Actually on. We got the two main power cables coming in from the battery. And get the battery out of here. There's the battery. Now there. It's actually where the power button goes to to turn it on. So these just look like bullet connectors underneath each one of these pieces of tape. Yep. So these. I'll come apart fairly easily, but 
Actually, they heat shrink tubing them together, so I'd have to cut that to get those apart. The arms pivot on some screws in here. I have to take the bottom plate off to be able to get to those. Looks like we just have a few screws in here. I'll go get a knife to cut the heat shrink tubing and get all these bullet connectors disconnected and then we can remove this top plate here. Okay, I've went around each bullet connector and uh, cut them loose a little bit so I'm just going to disconnect all these. I'm going to actually take this board off here so I can get to this a little easier. They have a little wire on this one, grounding it. around and connects right here. So all the motors and ESCs are disconnected. Let's get this uh, top board off of here. There's the bottom of the board. The two main leads are soldered on. I'll have to take the bottom apart to see uh, where those connect. Now let's start working on the bottom again.
the other antenna is threaded underneath. Here is the receiver. Would communicate with your transmitter or remote. Okay, let's take off each arm now. Just a little pin, the threaded end. This is the arm that is broken. So the only part that is broken is actually the plastic piece that goes right on here. So that's why when you pick it up and lash it in place, this metal piece here still catches and locks the arm in place. Put this screw back in. When you pick the arm up, this little metal piece here will catch on the metal piece in here and lock it in place. So when you depress it, it just moves that metal piece down so you're able to disconnect it. Now we're almost there. Just got to take off this bottom plate. To do that, we'll have to take the legs off. Okay, so actually, these legs just slide right up in there and connect with the connector there. Did not know that, that you could just pull these legs out. Makes for a little bit easier traveling. And now we can remove the bottom plate. Let's remove this board so we can get this connector through there. Oh yeah, it did fit. So, bottom removed. This is the part that connects to the gimbal. Battery connector is soldered directly by these sensors, but these sensors will come out of here. Here are the front sensors.
is where the battery connects into. The board. You can see all the ESCs on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This board has a ribbon cable connecting it in here. I'm just going to leave that all together so that is one complete assembly. Here we just have a little LED connector. the power button on here. frame comes apart in two places so I'm going to continue disconnecting that so I can get that power button out of there. Power button will come out of there. Here's the base of the frames. This is where each one of the arms will connect into and latch onto these metal pieces. They're actually pretty thick pieces of metal, Look like almost a quarter inch thick. Down the bottom here, we just have a little USB connector. the connector that connected this main board and the only thing left on here now is the connectors that connected the retractable legs legs actually just connect right on here and you press them into the frame last connector there's the last part of the frame Take this GPS out of here.
is the GPS module. Take this motor off this arm, the one that has the broken arm, bottom, little LED light. The rest of the arms and motors I might sell as complete setups, but since this arm is broke, I'll probably end up selling this one with just the motor itself. Four bolts. metal base plate There's the motor. This last wire in here just connects to this little LED module. There's the arm. Well, the Intel sensors. I think I'll sell this as one complete setup as well with the board left in it, so I'm not going to take that apart anymore. That looks like it's completely apart. I'll uh, get these parts cleaned up and post it on eBay. I'll post a link in the description below if anybody is interested in any of these parts. And as always, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more new videos weekly. Thank you.